the Carrick. She's big, she's beautiful, loved by many and hated by a few. She's a mobile base that's got almost everything you'd need to stay out in the verse indefinitely. A med bay you can respawn in, a ship hangar that comes with a Pisces as an away ship, a garage that comes with an Ursa rover to keep inside of it, has a size 3 QT drive with an astonishing 44,000 quantum fuel capacity, two size 3 shields, and 93,000 hull HP. There's no pilot controlled weapons, the Carrick really shines when fully crewed with its four turrets with two size 4 weapons each. It also has an impressive armory and cargo space, capable of storing all the guns and supplies you might bring with you or find along the way. These are all the reasons people love the Carrick, but for a long time it hasn't exactly lived up to its full potential. In 3.17, we've only been able to retrieve a max of three ships at a time, making it difficult to push the Carrick's vehicle storing capacity, sometimes accidentally causing the Carrick to despawn on you, losing all your cargo and hard work. Ships stored inside when retrieved would have their landing gear up and be bouncing around, causing it and the ship to be damaged. The armory would often randomly despawn weapons stored in lockers, and sometimes if you had too many things in its inventory, you couldn't load the carrot in altogether and be forced to claim a fresh one and start from scratch once again, losing all your inventory. I decided to test out the carrot again on 3.18 PTU over the weekend. 72 whole hours I was going to live in the Carrick it would be the longest time I could test it before the server would wipe. I wanted to know what the changes would be living in the Carrick in 3.18 and with the introduction of Pez, if anything really changed. Was it reliable to bed log in? What's the best loadout of vehicles to store in it? How can the Carrick be used best in the new 3.18 missions? And does the Carrick store and retrieve reliably without damaging its inventory and armory? My name's Dead Leader, and this is the Carrick in 3.18. Just before we get started, I just want to say a quick thank you to everyone. We recently just made 2,000 followers on YouTube, and it's pretty amazing. Everyone's mostly been so lovely and nice in the comments and we've been growing a nice little community. And yeah, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. Purely only for the reason that I would like to make more content for you. So if you've enjoyed any of my videos in the past and have subscribed, hey, maybe hit that bell right now and maybe give this video a like if I've entertained you by the end of it. I really hope I do a good job of entertaining and informing. All right, let's get back to it. The first thing I tested with the Carrick is what loadout of vehicles I could have with it. Now that I could have more than three vehicles at a time, I could really kind of mix and match. And there were a few new vehicles out since I'd last tried, such as the Steve. So I started with the Pisces. I put the classic Pisces inside of the hangar, but I got the brand new C8R medical Pisces and I placed it on the roof, since you can also store something on top and kind of use the Carrick as a, a vehicle carrier. So I had the medical pieces on the top in case I needed to go out on a rescue mission. And if I lost that or died when I was out with that, I would have a second Pisces inside of the hangar to go and retrieve my gear with that one. And below decks in the garage, I was storing a Mesa Rover and two Greycat STVs. I decided the first thing I was going to test was I was going to head to Crusader to do the new Orison platform missions. Now, if I could land on the platform, the idea was I would land my huge butt here and then get on the roof with a sniper rifle and just kind of wipe them out from up there. Let's see. And uh, if it fits I sits okay so went down to the armory got myself a gun I'd if you want to see how I got these weapons check out the previous video on the loot farm I got all these from those and was able to feel the Karak armor out nicely pop 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 Dead. 
and okay. Right, so I've just tracked beating bodies up here, so I could just chuck their loot directly into the inventory. <laughs> But there was kind of an issue after I was tractor beaming bodies for a little bit. The there's a bug on this branch where if you tractor beam a dead body, eventually it's gonna just crash death up on you. So I resulted to the old fashioned getting completely naked, running up to dead bodies and putting their clothes on and dumping them off. After a relatively successful attempt at the platform missions, I decided to head out into space. I filled my little belly up with as much armor and guns as I could from that platform. So I wanted to test the bed logging and see if that worked reliably, kept everything in my armory and vehicle bay nicely. Okay, let's go over to the captain's quarters. And lie down and I'll just lock out and lock back on, hopefully. Everything's fine. What? There's no one. Oh, so dead guys count as passengers. I guess that's kind of like a passenger. Now I can't use the meh, the tractor beam because it might just crash. So I'm gonna have to just do this the old fashioned way and drag them off. I don't want to fall though. I'll just sort of bring them to the edge. Maybe they'll vibrate off, you know? Just like Mama used to make. Come on, buddy. I didn't even strip you off. I feel bad. There you go. Come on. Oh, this one's heavy. Uh, oh, we lost one already. Oh, what's that? Okay, hold on. I gotta find a way to get them off here. This will do it. Beautiful. And let's see if it works. Hey. Nice. So. Ed longing had worked. Everything was still on the ship. All the vehicles were in place and the armory was packed. So the next day I decided I was going to go and try it again. Head back to those platform missions and try another one. Problem was this time, unlike the last mission, I didn't have a larger landing pad. So where the rule was, if I fits, I sits. I guess this time it's if I floats, uh, if I floats, I find another way to do it. I figured I can kind of be a little bit more risque since my spawn point is inside the ship. So if I mess up, I can just die and I'll rock back up in the ship. Maybe I could. Hmm. So. I made a genius call, opened up the front ma mouth hanger, and, well, I mean, you can see what I did. Beautiful. This may be the smartest thing I have ever done. I drove most of the rover down the front with, of course, the idea that if the ship moved at all, I could kind of use that little bump there as a ramp and very dramatically action film my way back into the carrot hangar, lining that one up for a, an inevitable thumbnail. That roof pants. the gun. Just zap this guy. Flap, 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 flap. Flap, 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 flap. Oh, oh, there's a guy behind me. Fuck. Well, 
Oh, hey, at least I shut that guy's dick off, apparently. Nice. That's its own reward. One thing I found out as well from respawning the med bay is that it actually remembers that it's your respawn point now. It used to be if you stored it and unstowed it after setting your respawn inside the Parrox med bay, you'd have to reset it every time. But now you just go and look back and it's it's already set as your uh, respawn point after you've withdrawn it, which is pretty good. It was one of those things that it would be easy to forget to reset your spawn point at each time you sort of like stowed it. So you might die and then find yourself a million miles away, which is kind of crap. Okay, something was going on with the elevator there and I couldn't shoot from the elevator. Um, I had to be in the room before anyone would take damage. So I respawned back in the carrack and armed up to try and figure out a, another way to take him out. Tried to, I managed to massacre a few people using the ship's turrets, but uh, it wasn't so easy at close range to kill them like that. But it looked cool. So I took the snub out and decided I'd get a bit of a better angle on the situation. Really good getting to like just use multiple vehicles on the one like mission, you know? It's usually like you have to take a vehicle out and wait until it completely is destroyed or something tragic happens and you have to hike back and get another one and this enjoyable gameplay. All right, here we go. This is better. Right. <laughs> oh. Oh. Give me the dick. Nice. All right, let's see. Uh, what was the floor? I, I died on the floor, but... No, no, this is the floor I died on. Let's see if we can get my stuff back. There's the marker. What oh, that little door? Hello. Oh, this guy. Everyone's dead, so I did the classic nudity run with a dead body and just drag it all back on. Nice. Stripped it off again because I wanted some extra armor. Might as well. Double up. Hard work. Stripping people and stealing their shit. So I thought I'd have a bit of a drink break. Cool off. Alright, so I still got some more dudes I need to kill up here. I just park right on the hangar. Here we go. these up on the top put it back where it needed to go I had to get back down to the Ursa to get it in so I was a bit lazy and thought all right here's the thumbnail I gotta jump down there in an action shot and get in and drive back and this is gonna be perfect long about now I bet that boy wishes he had a parachute uh yeah but I died And uh, I didn't realize it, but if you're in that trespassing phase and then die and respawn there, it now is no more time. It's just you're trespassing. And so everything decides it's going to kill you, uh, which puts you into a great state of panic. And you pretty quickly give up on the idea of doing the cool Ursa Rover shot. That Ursa Rover is dead to me. And the thumbnail is dead to me. Maybe this will be a good thumbnail. Yeah, platforms blasting off. Get him away. On the carrack. 
I don't give a crap about you. Wait, oh shit, they're firing rockets at me. I well, you know they could fire up. Oh, okay. Maybe uh, put some defensive measures out. Holy shit. That dead body just fell off me? Okay. Slightly freaking out. Okay. So, decided it was time to say goodbye to the Pisces. <laughs> Well, not goodbye, but trade it off. I wanted uh, to make some large boxes to store things inside of the carrack. So I filled it up with armor and guns and stuff, so I had a full cargo. Landed it out just out of the armistice zone of a mining outpost. And flicked the self-destruct switch. I ran away. Oh, did I run. And of course, cool guys, never look at explosions. Always got to face it back to it. Nice. So I claimed another Pisces, <laughs> jumped in that one and went out to collect my boxes. This is the only way in game to get a few SCU boxes. I wanted to see if I could put them into the character, use them for extra storage. Um, because multiple people can access that inventory, not just the ship owner can. So I thought this will be good. Let's, it'll be another test to see if, uh, if I store it and retrieve it, you know, is, is it still going to be there? Is the inventory going to be inside the box? Is one going to be in, like, I'm going to keep one of these inside the Pisces as well. Yeah, you know, I just wanted to see if, um, yeah, really push, push that Pez to its limit. So I'll keep this one in here. A bit of extra storage for away missions, bunker missions and stuff. Now I'm gonna put this one down in the armory. I'm gonna put my weapon attachments and health and stuff like that in there for my imaginary crew. Nice. Clinton. Got a new ass to rove on. And actually dumped one of the Grey Cat STVs, only leaving me with the one. I found that they kept moving around and bumping each other, even with the two. And I'm like, why do I need two Steves for? So I, I'm one ass rover, one Grey Cat STV. That's all I really needed. And two Pisces, because I'm extra. All right, so time to store it. Let's see what happens. You know what? This isn't a completely accurate test. I've got to like make sure the ship's lived in. So I put a bunch of cocks on the table, put everyone, put plushies in everyone's bed. Put a nice little version of the ship on my desk. Cause you know, I gotta make, gotta remind myself what I'm inside of at all times and give myself a little color steel plushie next to my teddy bear. So I just want to see if all this is still gonna remain after I store it and bring it back. Oh yeah, and the sexton in my bathroom to give me sexual powers. Right, is the store all right? It takes too long, it means it might be fun. Oh, wait, there you go, stored, lovely. Click out, just don't give it time to make sure it's actually stored. And retrieve it, let's see. What happened here a lot of the time is if there's too much stuff in your ship, it'll just be like, Bleh, and it'll make you like reclaim it and you'd get a blank one. Mom. Hey, has it got, yeah, there's a bunch of markers there. So it's definitely got the ships in it. There's the ships. In the armory, we've got the guns. Hey, all guns are all there. The box is there. Has it got the stuff in it? Hey. Put this one. Hey. All right. And what about in this one? Well, this one's here in the Atlantic ga Gears Down, which is good. I believe that's the box. Hey. 
And here is the regular Pisces down here with the landing gear down. That's changed as well. Yep, there's comics all over the table. Love to see it. Lots of stuff on the crew beds. Yeah. Facing slightly different. These are good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I put a bit of extra crap here too. For an apple and some drinks. And there's the cut still. Or the sexton. <gasps> Phew. And yeah, that was the end of my test. A few hours later, they rewiped the server and I'd managed to survive the entire time of the Carrick. I did have an issue at one point where my game crashed a few times when I was outside of the Carrick and it would stow me back at a space station, but it would keep the Carrick exactly where it was. But I managed to find it again and it still had everything on it and Pez had worked correctly with it. Um, I do think they should change it so that if that happens, you're outside of your ship and you know, you crashed a desktop, I think you should be stowed in your ship if it's still persisting, it hasn't blown up. And that would be my only real sort of criticism about it. I was uh, really impressed with how the character runs now and I'm definitely gonna be using it more when 3.18 goes live. All right, well, once again, thank you for the 2000 follows. Yeah, like and subscribe. And my name's Dead Leader. I'll see you at In The Verse.